So this is Hilda, and we didn't know exactly when she was due because we adopted her from a neighbor. It had seemed like basically she could only have gotten pregnant like the day we picked her up since she was so what seemed like overdue. And we were checking her and checking her and we kept coming back and checking her. Ferdinand, no, uh-uh, Papa. You're too big, you don't wanna mess with me. You could hurt me on accident or get slobber all over me. And so we kept checking her and checking her and her chichis were really big. One morning I came out here at six in the morning and she was presenting with the sack out. I went back in and got my husband and we came out and we kept giving her time and she was not progressing and not progressing. So my husband just gently held the feet of the baby cow for several pushes. This is not taking a chain and pulling the baby out, but you just hold it so that when she's between contractions, it doesn't suck back into her vagina. Hey, mommy, you got it, you got it, yes. The head is out. Come on. He's coaching her and coaching her. Come on. That's good, baby. After several pushes, he was able to get the baby out and the baby was totally okay. It was a little boy and we named him Phantasmo. He was born on Halloween. Hilda is a sweet mom, but we think she basically got pregnant right around the day that we adopted her because she had the baby 280 something days after the day we took her home. And at the time we didn't have a bull here, so she didn't get pregnant here. That was an interesting story. It was awesome for the kids to see. My husband didn't bring a towel. We just ran out and so he had to take his shirt off and wipe the whole baby down. Now we've just introduced the mom and the baby back to the whole herd. So they're in here with all the cows. Cows are herd animals and they love to be together. We have this long pen, it's over a hundred and something feet long. And there's sections that are outside and sections that are under cover. There's brushes for them to scratch on. And you can see this baby here in with everybody. A perfect little baby. We're so happy that he was born healthy and happy and that there was no complications even though her labor was stalled for a fair amount of time from 6.30 until 8 o'clock. We try to intervene as little as possible and when we do intervene we want it to be as mild as an intervention as possible so that we can just help the baby out but not distress the mother at all. The mom does not like the pit bull in her vicinity. This is my girl Hilda, who's a good mama. The baby was also up and breastfeeding within a few hours and didn't need any interventions there. This is Ferdinand, our new bull. He's actually the neighbor's bull, but he's visiting. We're excited to have a brand new baby. We're excited about all our cows here on the farm and we hope you enjoy this birth video. Like, subscribe, let us know what you want to know about that's going on on the farm. And we're excited to be sharing life here on the